Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about production functions and how they relate to economics. A production function shows us the relationship between the inputs used in production, such as capital and labor, and the output that is produced. We are going to focus on a specific type of production function called the Cobb Douglas function. The Cobb Douglas function takes the form of Q equals A times K to the power of alpha times L to the power of 1 minus alpha, where Q represents the output, A is the constant representing total factor productivity, alpha is the output elasticity of capital, and 1 minus alpha is the output elasticity of labor. In this case, the Cobb-Douglas function is used to calculate the output with the specific values of A equals 1 and alpha equals 0.5. Let's take a look at the first row of the table as an example. The values for K and L are both 1, which means we are using 1 unit of capital and 1 unit of labor. Plugging these values into the Cobb-Douglas function, we get Q equals a times k to the power of alpha times l to the power of 1 minus alpha and when you substitute the values you get a answer of 1 a q value of 1 so when we use one unit of capital and one unit of labor we can produce an output of 1 moving on to the graphs the first one shows a 3d surface plot of the cobb douglas production function the x-axis represents the level of capital K and the y-axis represents the level of labor L and the z-axis represents the level of output Q. Let's consider a point on this graph as an example. Suppose we want to see what happens when we use two units of capital and two units of labor. We can find this point on the graph by following the x-axis of two units of capital, following the y-axis to two units of labor, and then looking up to see what level of output we can produce. The output at this point is 2. This graph shows an isocon plot, which represents all the different combinations of K and L that produce a given level of output. In this case, the isocont lines represent different levels of output with contour levels of Q equals 2, 3 and 4. Let's consider a point on this graph as an example. Suppose we want to see what combination of K and L produces an output of 3. We can find this point on the graph by looking for the isocont line which corresponds to Q equals 3. We can then follow this line to see the different combinations of K and L that can produce an output of 3. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something new about production functions and how they relate to economics. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.